Aqua, welcome back to the Cosmic Divine Tarot, baby. All right now, my lovely, this here is your bonus. What's going on behind closed doors? Love reading for this last day of March. Uh, also going into April 2022, baby. Because you, you don't know, Aqua, something may go down this day. All right, or something may have already gone down this day. And it's like, hey, baby, I, let's go ahead and see what that might have been, my darling. Now, here we go. We got the uh, divine doors to set this off, love. And uh, it looks like uh, this is the door that came out, Aqua. Hmm. Well, my darling, it looks like uh, no life is here at all, okay? There is no life here. There is no uh, love here. There is no nothing. There isn't anything here, baby. This is a barren wasteland, Aqua. Now, what it reads on the back of this is a bless this space uh now what it reads is um your sacred space so this could be somebody's home this could be uh somebody's soul uh it could be their their uh their mind or anything there it's a sacred space aqua okay now it says um holds the soul to bear mm -hmm. Palo santa or sage will clear the air well, my darling, apparently I take it that this is where your person is dwelling right now in a barren wasteland, love. And I don't know exactly how long they've been dwelling here, love, but apparently when you pulled yourself back, okay, when you pulled the love and the affection and the generosity and even your conversation back from this individual, uh, uh, th their world just became barren, baby. Okay, it just became barren. There is absolutely uh, no life left, love. So that tells me that you were giving life to a person or perhaps a person's, plural, uh, that didn't have anything to give you anyway, Aqua. Okay, these people didn't have a damn thing, baby. Because, love, when you pulled your love back, look at what the heck happened now. Okay. <clears throat> yes, baby. Yes, baby. Now let's go ahead and get into the romance angels. Okay. So, my darling, apparently this person uh, wants to leave their barren wasteland and uh, recapture the romance with you. Okay, now love, it says they want to allow their inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, which means that uh, they're going to be playful when they step on the scene now. Okay, now love, they're going to be holding on to you for dear life. You see this baby holding on to this adult here for dear life. Well, uh, that adult is you. That elder is you. Also, my darling, it could be saying that if you want to recapture romance in your life, that you have to allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, okay? So it could be both ways here, Aqua. Uh, that maybe, you know, your inner child needs to, you know, reveal itself a little bit more when it comes to the romantic scene, okay? Now, my darling, let's see here. We have, it is safe. For you to love. Aquarius, apparently you have ascended, my darling, and you have become very selfish with yourself. Uh, very selfish with your affection, your energy, your time, baby. Okay? And uh, you got this person right here at the bottom, right here, trying to get your attention now. Now, baby, it says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all love okay now it could be that this person prior did not have their heart open to receive such love or to give it actually because hey they didn't know if it was safe to love the star 
aqua. And the reason why they felt that it wasn't safe to love you is because, baby, baby, you were already ascended, even dealing in the muck and mire of the earthly abode, baby. So you may have thought that your feet were touching the ground, but your feet never did touch the ground, baby. So the people who you were dealing with knew that you were already elevated. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what else we have here. Okay, um, healing family issues. You see, my darling, when the star comes into a person's life or when you come into a person's life, you have them realize that there are some things that need to be healed because the star is the healer. The star is love. The star is joy, beauty. Okay. And that's what you bring into a person's life. All right. Now, my darling, it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So apparently, my darling, you have been attracting people who had barren wastelands inside of them because their parents refused or didn't know how to love them, okay? Uh, they didn't know how to properly give them the nourishment that they needed as a child, okay? And what they gave them instead was religious factors, baby. Okay, so it says... uh in a religious family or, you know, that a person has all types of, you know, strictness. They, they, they're not really showing any kind of affection like that if they are highly religious people. So it could be that, Aqua, maybe you came from a highly religious family or a highly spiritual family or this person did. That maybe uh, somebody showed... Uh, more love to the church or or whatever uh than they did to their person or their their child here aqua i don't know baby you know you tell me it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path now if we take a look at this person's face here we can see that uh they're lost baby lost they don't know what the hell is going on they only thing they know is their spiritual path or their religious uh upbringing so if your spiritual path is not teaching you divine love if your religious upbringing is not teaching you uh divine love and only thing is teaching you is something other then baby uh let's go ahead and look into the dark mirror on that you know and this is not any hit on anybody who is religious or or whatnot or anybody who is more spiritual than religious it's just that if it did not teach you divine love or affection and whatnot, then yeah, uh, or if you didn't learn, maybe it had its teaching in that practice, but you didn't learn it because your parents didn't teach that aspect of it to you. Maybe because they didn't know it, love. Okay, now let's go ahead and look into the dark mirror here. See, fragmentation, aqua. Okay, now, fragmentation means that, yes, you see, I said this person lost right here. They don't know that to put the, they don't know how to put the pieces together of their own heart, their own soul. So, therefore, that's why Polo Santa and Sage is necessary to bring peace to this individual right here, to their sacred space, because they don't know how to do it their damn self now. Okay, now, baby, here we got, because this person is, hey, uh, anger and chain. Chain to some type of anger. Chain to some type of, you know, uh, uh, situation or, or some type of pain or some type of, you know, something going on here that got the red flag and this person screaming on the inside. Okay? Now, my darling, this person chained to anger, chained to hate, chained to all types of things now. Okay, now here we got this uh sacrifice. Aquarius. So somebody got this sword right here in their hand, baby, and they are about to take the leap and sacrifice out of this dark period in their mind where they didn't know what the hell. Okay? Now, baby, they, they just was like, hey, you know, uh, just sitting in a dark room. This is what's going on inside their mind, their heart, their soul, just sitting there. And then the universe, the ancestors, the deity that is this divine love, okay, uh, cracked open the door and showed this person some light. 
Okay, show this person that, hey, it's time to sacrifice this chain to all types of anger and pain that you're going through here and all of these daggone addictions that you have, baby, need to go. They need to go now uh, because this is what they have in uh, this person's look. This is like some type of uh, etheric or spiritual or emotional counterpart. Okay. Now, this was like this person's like what they look like in the, in the, the spiritual abode. Freddy Krueger says Beetlejuice with all types of spikes in the back of their daggone back. Uh, you know, didn't know they didn't know how to pull these bad boys out until they met you, Aquarius. Okay, and you were helping pull these bad boys out the back, nah. And they was angry at you doing that because they had some type of you know mask on, baby. But uh, let's go ahead and um. And, and and that mask was them acting like, hey, they were just fine. They didn't, you know, they was just, you know, nothing wrong with me. Here we go. Uh, erotic fantasy. That definitely was their fantasy that nothing was wrong with them now, okay? Now, uh, this card right here came out in reverse love. We have the uh, Knight of Swords. So your person is rushing out of this whole barren wasteland aqua and running straight to you with the sword of truth baby they they just gotta tell you how they feel listen love well like i said when you stop pouring the love onto this person or to these individuals okay uh they was like they, hey they didn't have no life left baby so they gotta get on this horse and charge towards you before hey their life expires aqua okay now this person came out in reverse right here got the deck on judgment call okay so like baby the judgment call was saying to this person like you know you better get up off of your behind Okay, you better get up. You better do something. Okay, you better act like you know, and you better stop having this whole uh, trying to pick up the pieces and put your soul, your heart, your mind together. Get up and go. Okay, it you, you better get up and go because Aqua is about to be taken off the damn table. Okay, because I'm about to take Aquarius off the table if you don't get up off of your behind and make this move here. Okay, now love, we got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini right here. Uh, now here we got this uh, Seven of Wands, Aquarius. This is an upright, so this is you. You have your defenses up, like I said, love. Uh, you're building up your perimeter. You're, you're not allowing anybody in. Right now, you're being very selfish with yourself, your time, your affection, your body, baby. You're being very selfish. Now, the only problem with that is that Aquarius, you just look too beautiful, okay? It doesn't matter if you set up the perimeter or set up your defenses. Uh, as the star, you're going to shine through regardless. You're going to shine through regardless, baby. People are just going to be like, uh, you know, trying to get through the cracks. Because cause, cause you only got not, uh, seven wands here, which means that there will be cracks in the, uh, you know, defenses that you have up, baby. Now, people are going to slide, try to slide through those uh, defenses. And let's go ahead and go into the um, light seers. So, we can get a little bit more information about that. Yes, my darling, people are going to try to, you know, go ahead and slide through. Because your light is shining through these cracks here now. Okay? It's like, like I said, you only got seven wands to build up this whole place that you got here. Alright? And you got that, uh, this last wand in your hand. So, baby, I mean, just six wands here, Aqua. So, it could be at least about six people. Six people trying to come back at you. Six people trying to, uh, you know, bring you some type of passionate new beginning baby now uh aqua this here is for your sun moon rising venus lilith and we're gonna pull from the bottom first boom okay what now here ace of wands okay now aquarius this is your non-sexual reading baby so i'm not going to say what you think i you know would normally would say i'm just going to say that baby these people got the fire lit in their mind in their heart and their soul. Like like I said, the judgment call came and this person's like, I 
better go and get my Aquarius right now. Not, not, not today. Uh, yesterday I should have got up off my behind and made the move now. Okay, hold up now. Here we go. But here we got the bottom of the deck person was indecisive because they had blinders on in this barren wasteland uh, inside their own mind, love. They didn't know what the heck or how the heck or when the deck on heck, baby. They didn't even know what time it was, what they thought Aqua was going to stay on the board uh, until they got their ish together. Like the universe, the ancestors, the deities would have allowed such thing uh, when uh, there is too many other ten of cups out here. Okay, too many other ten of cups, you know, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this could be also somebody who got the fire in their mind to go ahead and uh, grab hold of their courage, all right? Grab hold of all of these chalices and say, I need to give them to my Aquarius, because I, I, I have them anyway, right? I have this love, this deep love inside of me since this whole, like, separation from us, you know, and love, here we go, Bear Barren wasteland need the Ten of Cups, okay? So it's like this person uh, had to unlock that they even had this type of love inside of them or had to unlock who you were to them, okay? It's like you were their Ten of Cups, Aquarius, the ultimate love. The ultimate friend, the ultimate, you know, everything, uh, wife, husband, brother, sister. Okay, you were the ultimate to these daggone people. Mm, and now you're going to get them rushing in, baby. Here we go. Boom. Ooh. Got the Gemini stepping on the scene, see? This is how close these people going to try to get to you. It came out in reverse, Aqua. Now, baby. These people have been choosing the different road, the road that led to the barren wasteland, okay? Now they're trying to get on the right path, okay, and come straight to you and get all up in your face like this, Aquarius. Like, listen, baby, listen now. I, I, there's just some things that I just need to tell you. There's just some things that I've been feeling on the inside that I know that I haven't been saying to you, but I just need to go ahead and unleash it right now, okay? I need to unleash this right now. So uh, you need to understand that this Ten of Cups is going to be uh, a lot, okay? They're going to be saying a lot. They're going to be expressing a lot. Baby, okay, this is what we got the page of wands at the bottom of the deck. This can be very passionate communication now. Like I said, playfulness is going to be, uh, you know, young aqua, but they're going to be holding tight to you while they do this. They're going to be holding tight to you, Aquarius, holding on for dear life. And then the person threw the wand up in the air like, okay, so they're saying like they don't care. They don't have any fear anymore. They heard the deck on judgment call. Boom, baby. Oh, my goodness. Aquarius, the sun. Okay, so now this person realizes that, oh, my goodness. <sighs> I was so daggone happy with Aquarius. Wait a second. Hold up, baby. This Leo right here was so daggone happy with you. Like, wow, you are the, the star. Because the sun right here is the star, right? It's like the light that you were shining on them. Mm. It was just, it was too much. It was too much for no one can bask in the heat or the light of the sun for just too long, baby. You were just overwhelming. And that's why this tower moment came out on their behalf because they didn't know how to handle you, okay? They didn't know how to handle all of that that you were giving them. Like, like, they were like, baby, bang. Oh, look, the tower trying to come out here. Wait a second. Wait a second, what we got here? <laughs> the tower came out in reverse, which is talking about your person, okay? Your person, so we're going to put it down here, Aquarius. Your person caused this tower moment, but now we got the page of cups. Because they did not tell you, Aqua. 
They didn't tell you, they didn't tell you that they love you, that they were in love with you, that, hey, baby, that you were their star, their heat, their life, their everything they needed. Okay, they didn't tell you that, so then they just let you go, and now you ascending here. But then they want to put the daggone uh, cup on your ankle. Like, wait a minute, baby, I can't let you go now. Now, I got to come on back and, and confess something to you. I got to say something to you, Aquarius. Here's the three of wands. Now, this was in reverse, saying that this person is about to go ahead and dive through all types of fear and doubt with nothing but the deck on a uh, skateboard baby it's like three of wands this person is about to go ahead and just make that effort about to go ahead and make that plunge like no i cannot lose you this scorpio right here this leo right here this uh what we got leo aries sagittarius cancer pisces uh scorpio baby like oh no wait a minute Wait a minute now, Aqua. What, oh, wait a minute. What's this? What's this, baby? Oh, like I said, this card was at the bottom of the deck. Page of Wands. People throwing caution to the deck on air. They're about to say what it is that they haven't said yet, Aqua. They're about to do what it is that they have just not done yet, baby. Okay. So, hey. All right now. All right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, let's go ahead and get from the middle of the deck here, baby. Let's go ahead and get from the middle of the deck here. I don't know how you're going to react to this, Aquarius, because it's going to be one hell of a load that they're going to unleash on you. Ooh, here we go, here we go. This is the Eight of Swords, love. Now, my darling, they're about to tell you the absolute truth and why they uh, kept you trapped in your mind when you were in a relationship with them, why they kept you in doubt, why they kept you in, you know, confusion, why they, you know, while you were there with them, had your hands tied up and your dad going, uh, you know, blinders on, okay? So they're about to go ahead and give you some uh, passionate message as to why they put you here because now they see, uh, baby, baby. Him, that you couldn't keep Aquarius here. Now, I don't know what this person was thinking that they was just going to hit and be able to keep Aqua in some mental confusion because uh, the universe wasn't going to allow that to happen. Uh, Aquarius, uh, you already got the Palo Santo. You already got the Sage. And I hope you are lighting it every day, baby. Because um, <clears throat> this confusion uh, just has to go. It, it, it can't stay here, of course. I mean, this whole mental uh, block, uh, you know, somebody probably sending you all types of negative energy because I see the, the birds here. Okay, so it's like you looked at yourself in the mirror or if you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and realize that, hey. I do not have to be trapped in my mind anymore. And I will not be trapped in my mind anymore. Here we go. Here we go. Five of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay? Uh, baby. It's like this person was, uh, is gonna, gonna fight for you. Okay? They're gonna fight you for you. Now, is that they're not going to be somebody just let you go ahead and slip away. They're not going to be somebody just go ahead and let the, uh, the passion, Aquarius, because you have so much passion. Oh, my goodness, my darling, your passion is just beyond uh, compare. They, they have went out in this barren wasteland of a world and found that there's nobody else to match you, baby. Everybody was clowns, fools, donuts, Aqua. This person, they couldn't find you again, baby. And, and they did try to now. They did try to. They most certainly did try to go ahead and, uh, like I said, Leo at the bottom of the deck. They did go ahead and try to go ahead and find Aquarius. Okay, but they just were not able to because your super power, Aqua, is that there is nobody like you. There is nobody like you and there never will be anybody like you. Okay, so I don't know what the heck this person thought they were doing trying to, you know, find you out in this world. But baby, baby, all they found was a barren wasteland of people who were pretenders who i'm thinking
Deacon probably knew you as well, of course. Maybe some of their friends or, or family members, okay, tried to pretend to be you, tried to copycat you, tried to act like they could be you in this person's life, but uh, they just fell short of the damn mark not. They fell too short of the bag going, Mark Aqua. Oh, pop of the back, baby. This Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. Hmm. Scorpio thought they could find somebody else, baby. Uh, but maybe they went out there and tried to be with a Scorpio who uh, stung them. Stung them with the daggone tail. And it's like, you know, now they're talking about falling for you was a mistake, Aquarius. I'm so broken, not. Nah. Or they could say follow for the Scorpio was a mistake. They're so broken now. Perhaps both of you. Because it came out in reverse and this person just uh just did something real stupid thinking that you could uh you know replace an aqua with a Scorpio. Baby Honey, what cross watcher? Did you uh, I can't say nothing to that, love. I, I mean, it's like, I know your body been yearning for me. I, I know your body been yearning for Aquarius. And like I said, it's a non-sexual reading, Aqua. But, you know, their body doesn't have to necessarily be a sexual thing. It could be the way you touch them. You know, because like I said, Aquarius, there is, there is healing in your hands. There is power in your hands, baby. Okay, there is like, you know, un, you know un, nobody knows how to touch them like you. There is just too much going on with your hands right here, baby. Here we go. Boom, this cancer. This cancer, you know, uh, was trying to act like they were so tough inside their shell. When they came out of their shell for another person. Well, my darling, it was just, uh, you know, um, now they're like, baby, please. Please, Aqua, come back home. Or please, can I come back home? I, I, I don't know why I decided to go ahead and do this. Because, yeah, baby, they, you know, that child now, they're crying, baby. They're crying now. <laughs> they just know what to do, Aqua. I, I, just, I, tried to, I tried to, you know, go ahead and, 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 and do something with somebody else. And, 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 and now, baby, it's like, uh, you know, but I tried. I, but I just can't say goodbye. Now, I, I try, but I just can't say goodbye, baby. I caused tower moments even. I was the cause of a dark on tower moment in our life, our situation, our relationship. It was me. Okay? Now, and this person don't even know that they hurt you more than they know. Aqua, for these tower moments that they caused in your life, for this moodiness, for this whole, you know, argumentative nature that this person had towards you, okay? It's like, okay, Pisces. Now, all this water is coming out now, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? All that's coming out now. All right. Now the water signs are enchanting. They are beautiful. Uh, they are magnificent. Okay. However, they have another side to them, which you know uh, gets them kind of moody and whatnot. Because hey, they're water signs. Water is emotion. Water is sensitivity. They can't help but to be who they are, baby. Is there somebody else? Mm. So Pisces made you feel like there was somebody else. Okay, Aqua. Mm. Now this person like, I want to taste the sweetness of your body. Oh, wait a minute. Now I said this ain't no uh, sexual reading now, Aqua. Mm -hmm. The sweetness of your body could just be kisses, could be hugs, you know, or just kisses, Aqua, you know. They just want to kiss you again. That, that's the sweetness of your body. The sweet way that you taste this person. Like, see, you look so beautiful with the moonlight shining on you like that. So this is this is a Cancer. This is a Pisces bringing up the moon, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the middle of the deck here. They know that you're just so beautiful. They know that you're just, you know, and it could be that you're in the spotlight. They may see the moonlight shining on you in the spotlight, baby. Now, <clears throat> do you know how much I want you? Mm. Ooh, okay, okay, of 
Corey. I was like, do you know how much I want you? Now, you look so daggone beautiful. Do you know how much I want you? Do you Do you even have any idea how much I want to touch you? Well, how could you do me that way then? That's what you're saying, Aquarius. Wait a second. Well, I mean, you're saying I'm so daggone beautiful, you know, and you're saying that you, uh, you know, you want to taste sweetness of my body. And, <clears throat> and you're saying that, you, you know, begging me to come on back home, but why didn't you, you know, how could you do me that way? How could you hurt me like that? If you really felt that way for me, if you really had these feelings of daggone ten of cups, or is it that you are the Ten of Cups, Aqua? I mean, yeah, you are the Ten of Cups. And when you pulled your cups back, it was a barren wasteland. They've been looking for the Ten of Cups ever since, baby. They've been finding uh, maybe, uh, you know, three of Cups. People been, you know, treating them like, hey, uh, making them feel insecure in relationships. How they've been making you feel, okay? They have, you know, hey. They haven't, they've been finding the four cups, people who didn't, didn't want to hang, take your love, I don't care, I don't, get, I, don't get, I don't care about you, and they've been finding the five of cups, people pouring out the love that they're trying to give to them, okay, like, mm, 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 mm. it is just terrible, and you know, Aquarius, I honestly feel sorry for the people who lose one of us. When they had an aqua in their life in their corner, they didn't understand what they had now, okay? They didn't understand the type of person that had their back, okay? They didn't understand the type of person that they were blessed with. They just, they didn't get it, aqua. I feel sorry for those people who lose one of us. I feel sorry for them. Because they ain't going to get us again. Not unless you forgive them, Aqua. Not unless you allow this person back in. But this person going to have to answer the question, why or how could they do you that way? Before you even consider, baby. And I don't blame you, my darling. And I would do the same thing if I were you, okay? Now, Aquarius, this has been your reading. If it resonated with you, then don't you forget, hit that like share subscribe to my channel hit that bell notifier to know when i will be uploading new messages and if this is not your message then don't worry about any of that i'm just going to get you later and wow this message was 30 some odd minutes long <laughs> dang i didn't even know that baby okay let me go ahead and end this bad boy oh boy if you need a personal reading the way to contact me will be in the description box below okay so until next time Peace, love, and light.